Hey guys, this is a requested video and I was asked to make a display shelf that's gonna be for little knickknacks that you know you pick around the store that you like but for smaller spaces. Now this is what I came up with and I'd like to share with you guys how I made it. Now here are the items that I used. A detailed list of all the items used will be in the description box below. Now I took the foam board and I drew a line in the middle and I cut it into two equal halves and I also made strips out of it and then four boards and this is what they all look like. I took a board and I drew lines where the shelves would be and then I carved out the lines using the measurements of the four boards that I cut that would be for the shelves and I did that for both boards. I took them out and I spray painted them silver and now the second board I only sprayed the outer side because we don't need the inside to be sprayed silver and now I'm just gluing on the pieces together Whenever I'm done with this part of the gluing, I always love to glue the corners just to make sure that the whole design comes out strong. Now that is done, I'm going to be gluing it onto the inner board. I kept that aside. And now I took four picture frames that I'm going to be using and I removed the glass from there. And then I also took the four boards that I cut out and I'll be gluing them at the edges. The upper edge where it's going to be glued is going to be inside and no one's going to see it. And now I'm just gluing how I want to position the glass onto the board. And this is how it's going to be. And like I said, that part is not going to be seen because it's going to be inside the box the thin box that we just made. And here I'm just putting little glue at the tip that's right in front and it's gonna be covered with beads so no one's gonna see it. This is the beads that we're gonna be using and I will be gluing it at the tip of the glass just to cover up the glue. I repeated the same step for all four and then now I'm just going to insert them into the openings that I made on the foam board. And this is going to make it strong because it's going to pass through the first board and the board at the back. I used a foam board that I got from Walmart and I'd like to emphasize to use a strong foam board. When you flip it to the back, you have to make sure that it comes out through there just a bit. This is to reassure you that it's going to be strong, definitely strong. And now I'm just using a hot glue gun to seal it off. This is what it looks like. And then I took the mirrors and I glued them at the top. I also took more beads and I glued them at the sides just to make sure that it comes out neat. And now I used napkin rings and I glued them all over the design. This is what it looks like. And then I took two hooks using a hot glue gun and an E6000 glue and then glued them at the back to hang it on the wall. And here's your finished look. And when you add more knickknacks to it, this is what you have. 
I love the way this turned out. And guess what? It actually carries heavy, small decors. Now everyone knows this candle holder is really heavy and that's what I used. Just to show you guys that it actually carries the heavy weight. The request was made for a small space and I'm so glad that at the end of the day you have a glam looking wall shelving that doesn't take any space at all. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comments section below and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.